a free phone carrier, which is pretty incredible. Uh, today we're going to be talking about it, and it's actually really amazing what Freedom Pop can do. Freedom Pop will send you a SIM card for just a penny, and then you can pay as you go. So there's different plans that they offer. I'm personally on their free plan. Uh, and you can actually get a gig out of data even though they're only saying that you'll get 200 megs, but there's a way that we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video about how you can get more than just 200 megs of data. With Freedom Pop, they have VoIP calling, so you're actually able to call and text over data, so you're not actually using SMS messages, but if you choose to actually use SMS over their app to be able to call and text, it is an extra $1.99 per month. Whenever I first heard of Freedom Pop, I thought that that was just way too good to be true and that it must have been a scam. But it isn't, and the cool thing is, there's no catch. The only technically catch that there is, is if you go over your data limit and you don't disable auto top up, it will automatically charge you $15. So you want to make sure to disable that. Freedom Pop will send you a SIM card, a fully working SIM card, for only one penny. Yeah, there's, there's no catch here. It's literally just one penny. All you have to do is go to freedompop.com forward slash sim dash card. And eventually once the page loads, you'll get to something sort of like this. It will ask you for your zip code and your email address. Just go ahead and type up this information. And once you type up this information, it will ask you for your address. And for my privacy reasons, I will go ahead and just blur that out because the last thing I want is random people to show up outside of my house. Uh, also, once you go ahead and click get a free sim card, it'll take you to the order now page. That's it. That's literally all you have to do. You simply follow the on-screen instructions, and the issue is right here, where all these free trials are. I will talk about those in a second. So the way Freedom Pop makes their money from free customers is actually pretty easy. Anytime you buy a SIM card for a penny, it enrolls you in a couple trials, a couple free trials that you want to deactivate. It costs $10 to deactivate one of the plans to put $10 into your account. You're actually not paying to deactivate the plan. So using that $10, you were able to put $5 of it towards actually disabling auto top up. Auto top up, basically pretty much what it does is if you are within 200 megs of your data limit, it will automatically fill your account with more data. So you obviously don't want that because that will cost money. So if you disable auto top up, it will not auto fill your account with more data, which is very useful because you don't want to be charged for data you might not even end up using. So Freedom Pop works with a friend system. Pretty much the more friends you have, the more data you get. You can get up to 500 extra megs of data just for having friends on Freedom Pop. No. Yes, there is a way to get around actually not having friends. So pretty much there's a list online that lets you pretty much just copy and paste all of these emails into freedompop.com and what it will do is it'll give you more data. So here's the list and there's all these emails on the list and all you need to do is literally copy all of them and paste them into one place on freedompop.com. Let's go ahead and take a look. So right here, all you need to do in the Freedom Pop dashboard is click earn and share. And right here where it says email address is copy a bunch of emails from the uh, Google Docs. And once you go ahead and copy a bunch of them, just paste them there and click invite friends. An issue you might run into is going over the allowed character limit. There is only 300 characters allowed. So what you need to do is just go ahead and delete a couple of the emails and then go ahead and click invite friends and it will let you and then you can go ahead and paste those in now again and it'll work. You have to accept each friend that you add. So just go ahead and click the accept button and it will accept the friend and give you more data for each one that you accept. By the way, um, add me. My email's on screen right now. A link to this Google Doc, by the way, is in the description, so if you want to add friends, there you go. So now to downgrade from those two free trials we talked about earlier. To downgrade your plan, simply click on plan, click on your active plan, and in the bottom right, if you're on a higher plan, it will say to downgrade your plan, click here, follow through with the on-screen prompts, and this, by the way, is the one that will charge you $10 to deactivate. Then you want to downgrade your services. If you have any services, you will go ahead and click on the service, and the same goes in the bottom right-hand corner, there will be something that says to downgrade your services services, click here. That pretty much does it for this video. Thank you so much, by the way, for watching. And uh, if you want to see our new website, you can go to it by visiting clearwaterradio.com. Dozens of live radio stations all in one place. It's actually pretty cool. Anyway, my name, of course, has been Brian, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and leave a positive comment down below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Anyway, see you all next time.